It is tax season here in Oakland County. It's time to get your taxes in to the county office or at least reach out to the county if you're in need of some assistance. Joining us to talk about, about that is Oakland County Treasurer Robert Wittenberg. Treasurer, thanks for being with us today. Good morning, Tyler. How are you? Doing all right. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And we're and, and just we're talking specifically about property taxes. Right. So income taxes, those are due, uh, you know, your returns in April, that is separate from what we'll be discussing. So just to, to let people know. And, and so at the countywide level, uh, much like at the municipal level, you're collecting property taxes and that goes towards all the different programs through Oakland County that support our local area, support our local communities too. Uh, and, and so how is that coordinated overall with the, with, with the municipalities and from the county down to individual households? So in, in our office, we're in charge of collecting delinquent taxes. Uh, so ultimately you pay your local taxes to like West Bloomfield or whatever community you live in, you pay your current year taxes. If they come over delinquent, so in essence, you, you don't make them in on time, uh, usually by in you know the end of February, if you don't make those payments on time, then in essence, we become the collections agent for those taxes. So we cash flow the local community, we make them whole, uh, and then we're in charge of collecting those taxes. So we make sure we have our uh, delinquent tax revolving fund, our DTRF fund, that is able to fund uh, all the local communities. There's 63 cities, villages, and townships. And we got to make sure that they have the resources necessary to continue providing services. So we're like a backstop. And then based, uh, based on state statute, we are then required to collect those delinquent taxes. And so that's why this month, March 31st, is the tax deadline. So for those people that owe 2020 or prior year taxes, March 31st is the deadline for them to pay or for them to reach out to our office to prevent foreclosure. So that's why we're doing kind of a robust outreach to the community to tell people that we are here to help uh, and that we want to help them to prevent foreclosure because foreclosure, you know, impacts the in entire community, not just the, the, the people that could possibly be foreclosed, but their neighbors and the community. And so we're doing a lot of work to just remind people, please call us. We are here to help. The number one thing that after, if you forget everything we talk about today, number one is that we are here to help in the treasurer's office. And, and just how common of an issue is this in Oakland County? Because when people think about Oakland County, they're not often thinking about people having a, a whole lot of struggle, generally speaking, with paying their taxes and, and paying their other bills. But like in many other communities, these are issues that can span from people of all walks of life. That's right. And, and you know, we are fortunate to be a, a pretty great county, right? Uh, and for the most part, people are thriving in our communities, but there are some people that have their challenges, and especially, you know, when we're talking about after the lingering effects of COVID. Uh, and so one of the things we've been talking about uh, that we're really trying to remind people of uh, or make people aware of is there are programs that the state administers. So it's federal funding that came from, uh, you know, COVID relief dollars that the state is running. So MISHTA, the Housing and Development Authority, has two programs that I wanna make sure people are aware of. Uh, one of them is called MIHAF. It's M-I for Michigan, H-A-F. So the Michigan Homeowners Assistance Fund. And the state will offer a grant. So uh, it's a grant to pay back delinquent taxes, mortgage, uh, condo fees, utility bills, up to $25,000 per household. And they'll do for 2019 moving forward. So 2019, 2020, 2021, and even 2022 tax years, utilities. And so this is a program that we're really trying to make sure people are aware of. Uh, there's also a program called My Hope, um, which is to help people. So M-I-H-O-P-E, uh, and people can look that up as well. And that's for upgrades to the uh, your heating and cooling, uh, roof repairs windows, those kind of things. And so those are programs that we've really been trying to make sure people are aware of. Uh, and then if they do owe those taxes to us, uh, then we want to work with them. We want to get them on a repayment agreement to get them caught up, uh, to save them on those fees and interest rate that, that you know, the state mandates. Uh, but, you know, so there are a lot of people that are impacted in our community. Um, you know, overall, I would say about 96% of people uh, never interact with our office. Again, they, they only come over to us if they are delinquent. So it's about 4% we work with. And then it's an even smaller percentage when we're talking about the foreclosure, getting, because it's a three-year process. So you, you know, if you miss your taxes the first year, you're late, 
then it comes over to us. And then there's another couple years that we're sending letters, we're reaching out, we're trying to work with you to prevent foreclosure. So foreclosure is like the last case scenario. And again, it's almost a three year, uh, it's about a three year process. So the amount of people that are subject to foreclosure, uh, that percentage is really, really small here in Oakland County. Ogov.com slash treasure is the website to go for more information on delinquent taxes, uh, as well as property tax information for Oakland County. And you can even pr pay your property taxes uh, now throughout the month of March and beyond on their website. Again, oakgov.com slash treasury. You can request a statement as well by phone call 248-858-0611, 248-858-0611. Joining us on the Megacast is Oakland County Treasurer Robert Wittenberg as we talk about tax season and, and collecting these, these back property taxes here in Oakland County. And, and for a lot of people that are in these sort of situations, it's a it's a tough spot for them to be in. And, and it's a, a tough, I would imagine it's very tough to you know, swallow your pride and, and go to the county and, and say, hey, I'm having trouble paying these taxes. There's a reason why I haven't paid my taxes in a couple of years or God forbid in a few years and I'm coming close the facing foreclosure because, and I would imagine too, in a lot of these cases, they're worried I'm going to get in trouble. They're going to report me to the IRS. I'm going to have so many different issues and it just compounds that anxiety. So how does your office work with these individuals, with these families, with these households to ease some of those pressures they may be feeling and, and take them through these different steps that they have in place to protect them and ultimately to protect these municipalities also who owed those taxes. And, and that's a great point, right? That there are people that are, uh, that have, they're prideful or they're scared, uh, but we always tell people we are here to help, right? We will work with you with compassion. Uh, if you're, you know, we don't know you need help unless you tell us you need help, unless you reach out to us. And so we are, you know, we send letters, we send, we have personal service. So someone that visits the property, like we're doing all the outreach that we can to try to get in touch with people. But again, we don't know they need help unless they reach out to us. So. If they call out, if they call us, we actually have what are called our taxpayer assistance meetings. Uh, we refer to them as TAMs in our office. Uh, they are one-on-one -on -one confidential meetings that we have. And now you can do them obviously over the phone or Zoom if need be, but they are confidential. And then we treat each person yeah, like an individual. As an individual person, we, we, we want to know about their unique situation. And then we want to talk to them about what their options are, you know, what kind of grants are available to them. Uh, within our office, we have a financial coach who will work with you as well. Uh, and so we want to work with anyone, right? We want to work with everyone. We do not want to foreclose on anybody. And so we are really great about, we have a team here that does these. And I, as you can imagine, right, this is our busiest time of the year in March. And that's why we're out here really pushing people to reach out to our office. But we are here to help. That's the number one thing. We are not going to judge you. Uh, we have seen all different kinds of situations. And we know there's people that have challenges. So we want to work with you. I think that's the bottom line is we want to work with you. We are here to help you, but we don't know you need that help unless you reach out to us. And this can be the difference between you staying in your home or having your home foreclosed on and having more of those compounding problems while still owing uh, still owing uh, the, the county for these back ta property taxes as well. And so these are really important programs that you can access through Oakland County, oakgov.com slash treasurer for more information. And you took us through some of that process uh, of that initial meeting, that TAM meeting, as you said, with these individuals to go through what their situation may be and, and get their questions answered. And, and in general, uh, when, when you're talking about these programs that are in place and these supports that are in place for Oakland County, about how long does it take for these individuals to go through one of these programs and ultimately get back to even with their municipality and with the county on collection? So the, the, the TAM I'm talking about is, is specifically within our office. We have a team here that will have these one-on-one -on -one conversations, and we want to try to get people on a repayment agreement to get them caught up, right? Like I was saying earlier, there, there, there's interest, there's fees, there are things that are mandated by the state that we have no control over. So the sooner you get paid off, the more it saves you in the long run. So we try to you know uh, work with them on getting them into a payment agreement. Um, and then also those programs I was talking about, specifically that MyHAP program, the Michigan Homeowners Assistance Fund, uh, that we've seen actually over 400 uh, residents here in Oakland County with, uh, last I checked, it was over three and a half million dollars that the uh, state has paid towards delinquent taxes for Oakland County residents. So that program, uh, they've kind of expedited the process a little bit. It, it took some months when it first got started last year. Uh, this year, 
people are applying and they're getting um, approved within about three to four weeks, which is a pretty efficient program. So people have to uh, show that they had some kind of COVID impact. Uh, they're pretty lenient on that though. So if, it, if you can show any kind of loss of income, increased expenses, uh, health related issues because of COVID, then uh, you can qualify. There's also uh, income test uh, as well, but we wanna make sure that people apply uh, just to see if they are qualified. And like I said, we've had over 400 and uh, something uh, Oakland County residents who have been approved for this program and it's a lot of money and, it, and it's been saving a lot of people. You can, you can find more information and book your own taxpayer assistance meeting if you're in need of some of these services at oakgov.com slash treasurer, oakgov.com slash treasurer. You can call them as well, 248-858-0611. Again, the phone number, 248-858-0611, or send them an email, treasurer at oakgov.com. These are open to anybody here in Oakland County that may be owing property taxes from dating uh, as far back as 2020, as as we reach that three point, uh, three year limit, where you become up for potentially foreclosure. So if you're in that situation right now, you've got until March 31st, and you can reach out. And, and Oakland County wants to hear from you. And, and uh, Robert, we have a few more minutes with you before we'll need to go. Robert Wittenberg is the Oakland County Treasurer with us on the MegaCast today. To talk about this issue. Uh, anything else that we should know about this process or what people should be considering as they're going into this process to make it as easy to communicate with Oakland County about what they need and about the situation that they're in so they can resolve this with your office? Absolutely. And, and then again, that's that's why we're, we're really getting out here. It's a cold, uh, full court press uh, letting people know that we're here to help. So... Um, you know, we're doing newspaper ads, we'll be on TV, uh, making the rounds to let people know that we are here to help. Again, it boils down to us, you know, if, if we don't know you need help, then we can't help you. So we are doing our, our best to reach out to you. We just need you to, to reciprocate, uh, call us. Again, we are compassionate within our office. We wanna work with you. Call us, email us, come to our office here in Pontiac. Um, you know, just just please, we, we, we wanna work with you. So. So it's an easy process to at least make that initial call. Uh, we'll work with you one-on-one. -on -one. We'll try to address your unique situation, uh, but we're here to help. And, and, and just before we let you go, Treasurer, uh, thinking about this from the perspective of those that may be going through this, uh, if they are able to, to communicate and, and, and get this process going and ultimately get to the other side where they have broken even, in some situations they may be in a, a, a space in their life where even after they get back on track with their taxes, they may still struggle. Are there programs that are in, in place for them at that point to the, help them continue to pay their taxes and not get behind again? So there are some, not not from our office specifically, okay. uh, but you know we tell people to call two one one, which is United Way. Uh, they can kind of put you in touch with some programs that are out there. Within our office, we have our financial empowerment center. So we have a, a like a financial coach, which I think would be helpful. So you we you know the goal is to get you caught up, but then it's also to kind of evaluate your uh, your budget and kind of look at you know as the money comes in and your expenses and try to get you in a position where you can continue to thrive within our community um, and, and not have delinquent taxes, right? Because as soon as you go delinquent, unfortunately, like I said, there are those state mandated fees and interest that is added. And we wanna prevent that from happening. Uh, we wanna try to save people money. You know, we're, we're very re fiscally responsible within our office. We wanna show people that way as well uh, for their own personal budget. Oakgov.com slash treasurer is the website for more information and you can also call the Oakland County Treasurer's Office at 248-858-0611 for more information. Treasurer, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you so much. And then uh, next time I'll come in and talk some March Madness. We can talk some basketball. Absolutely. It's perfect time of the year for that. But first, let's get through the property tax season and then we'll move on to basketball. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.